Hey guys, I am going to do a video today of the haul that I have been promising. Um, so I've done a few outings with Sean lately looking for a Christmas outfit for him. Um, there was one I went shopping just to look for a Christmas outfit for him and I found what I found for Macy and then I didn't find anything for him. The kids and I went to Target and I found something for him but not a Christmas outfit. And then I did that Walmart outing and I got a few things there. I didn't get, I know I showed I got some outfits but I did not. Um, please excuse the mess in the background. The kids were supposed to clean and we ended up going to grandma's for the day. And then in Monday's video, I had that outing with Sean where we went up to Waco and we went to Once Upon a Child, <coughs> excuse me, we went to Carter's, um, Marshall's and the Dollar Tree. Um, I only bought stuff, well, I didn't buy anything at Carter's and I didn't buy anything at Marshall's. I did get one thing at Dollar Tree, but it has it's nothing Reborn related. But we did get stuff at Once Upon a Child, and Once Upon a Child had a great sale. And then both of my kids um, were nominated again this year for um, that Reborn contest that they were in last year. Not contest. Um, there's a, a organization that gives away Reborns every year to kids, so they were nominated again this year. And they both received the Reborns. Well, due to the COVID, usually there's kids that have to, um, like in my kid's case, we don't live in the area that puts it on. And they usually have this big, spectacular, um, a big, spectacular, like, where the kids come in and they have, like, a party and everything. Well, due to COVID, they couldn't do that. So they did a virtual one this year. So all the kids that received babies this year got to participate. So that was awesome. I do not have videos of them opening the dolls. I will get a video probably Friday of them with, not them with their dolls, but of their dolls and what they named them and whatnot. I think I said in the outing video because they did have the dolls with, but we didn't really show them all that much. They did take them into Once Upon a Child with us. So anyways, let's get started with this haul. It might be a little bit, because while we're at Once Upon a Child, I got stuff for Sean, Macy, and then they picked out stuff for their Reborns. So anyways, this was $6.99. I got this at Marshall, or is it Ross? Uh, no, this one I got at Marshall's. Um, when I went looking for a Christmas outfit for Sean, I thought this was adorable for Macy for Thanksgiving for next year. It's a white onesie with um, tulle around the neckline. And then it's got like a teardrop in the back of the neckline. Um, and then the trimming on the leg holes and around the neck is maroon. And it says, thankful for my family on the onesie that's embroidered. And then there's this cute little turkey applique with that's embroidered on. And it's kind of like this pretty blush pink. And then it's got like this floral pattern for its legs, or it's, excuse me, it's feathers. And it's got a matching bow that's the same maroon tool around the neck. And then the pants are like a quilted um, sweat pant material. And they're that same beautiful floral pattern that's on the feathers. And they're maroons, and burgundy, and kind of an orangish mustard color. And then a seafoam green for the greenage. So I thought that was cute for Macy for, Chris for Thanksgiving next year. I'll need to find like something Thanksgiving-y for Sean. I've been kind of looking to see if I can find any clearance stuff. I mean, I have a year now for him. For him, I'm kind of looking more football-y. But a lot of the girl stuff is just like browns. So I really like the maroon color in that one. So then I had gone to Target last week and got this for Sean. And this is a nice cozy winter outfit. But... It's not Christmassy, but I fell in love with it, so I got it anyways. It's this one-piece romper. It was $12.99 from Target. It is made by Just One You. Oh, this one is made by Chickpea, the girl one. And it's this beautiful gray uh, with a brown striped knit, almost like a sweater material. It's got two Sherpa fuzzy ears and a Sherpa fuzzy nose and two little eyes for a little bare face. And then it buttons in the back with real buttons. And I thought they had this with the Christmas 
kids clothes for just one you I'm like that's not so Christmassy but it is really cute it's really cozy so to make a nice winter piece and then from what I got from when him and I went to Walmart the other day um I don't know if I got these on film when we went they are the parents choice um dry and gentle baby diapers there's five diapers in here they're size three they were 75 cents typically I get size two for them but they only had size three so I believe parents choice changed their diapers and so it's just the new de whoa, the new design so there's a looks like a bear with some green leaves on it and then um I'm not exactly sure what animal that is. I don't know if that's a bear. It might be a bear with a blue bear with gray leaves. Yeah, it must be a bear. So we've got all these. So we got these diapers. They're parents' choice. Um, I liked the fact that there was only five in a package, so I didn't have to buy a huge package. I think our Walmart, our closer Walmart, I need to go to this week anyways, has smaller sizes so I can get for my kids' babies because I believe they are size one diapers. Um, yeah, theirs are size one. Maybe a two will fit theirs. I'll have to see. Then I don't even think I showed, I, I may have showed them, but I don't think I, pers I showed that I grabbed them. I don't even remember if I showed them. So I got the Hello Bello size 2 Christmas print for this year. So it's really cute. It's got some dolphins, um, some whales, some seals, um, some penguins. I've got hats on them, some little bow ties, um, some earmuffs. So I got these in size 2. So these will fit Sean and um, Macy. I cannot think of. So I did pick up these. I know I have that Hello Bello subscription. Um, I haven't been getting it lately. I've been postponing it. I may get it this month. I'm not. I'm still on the fence about it. I've talked to my husband about that. Um, I didn't get a November one and I didn't get an October one. Just because I had a bunch of people say they wanted to purchase some of the diapers for me. I put them on eBay and I've only had one purchase. So I'm like, I, I'm not going to keep buying different prints with nobody purchasing. So one lady's like, oh, I wanted to purchase some, but your prices were too high. I don't control. Basically, when you take out the PayPal fees, the eBay fees, shipping material, because it costs to buy those envelopes, even the little plastic um, polymer mailers, those cost money. The ink for my printer and the labels, when you add all that stuff up, I'm barely, and plus shipping as well. So I've got eBay fees, PayPal fees, because I'm only selling through eBay right now, guys. Um, I tried to sell through my Facebook page and it just, it got to be too much for me. It's easier for me just to do through eBay. But unfortunately, eBay takes 10%. So we've got eBay fees, we've got PayPal fees, which are approximately 5%. So 15% right off the bat, I don't even see, between eBay and PayPal. Then shipping went up. So the cheapest shipping now, where it used to be like 2 maybe $3, it's now $4. So I'm looking for $4 or $5 for shipping. So there we've got, if I sell three diapers for... $12 shipped. I can't, I think that's what I have them as. I So three diapers for $12 shipped. Four or $5 are instantly off the top. You're taking $1.12 for, you're basically taking $1.50 right off the top goes to a, or PayPal and eBay. Then you take another $5 off the top of that for shipping. So that's already $6.50. That's already half of what I've sold them for. Then when you figure in my cost of shipping supplies, ink for my printer, gas to go to the post office, I'm literally selling the diapers for when you individually divide up a package. So I'm not making any money on them, guys. That's why I'm... I can't afford to lose money. I'm okay breaking even. But people are complaining about the cost with me breaking even. So I'm... Unless it's a, a pattern or there's a gift with it that I absolutely cannot do without, I'm kind of steering away from doing that. Okay, so let's get into the haul from 
Once Upon a Child. Um, first off, I'll start out with the stuff my son got his baby. And guys, they had a 50% off sale. So everything with a clearance tag like this was 50% off. So this was $2.25. It's a Carter's long sleeve, um, long pant romper. It's gray with white stripes and it's got this little crab on the chest and it buttons down and it's got a cute little crab on the butt. He picked that out. He loved that. So I let my kids each pick out two outfits. Well, my dot, my son got three things because what happened is, um, one of the outfits that came with my daughter's doll was actually really big on the doll. Um, it came size three to six months. I'll show you guys really quick and I'll do a video separate of what they got, but I'll show this cause it's not in there. It's this really cute Granimals one -dee. It fits Macy perfectly, but it's way too big on my daughter's doll. So I took that from my daughter and I was going to plan to get her something to replace it. Well, then my son opened up one of his packages and he was all excited because it was a Harley Davidson onesie for his baby. And he was so super excited. And then he realized it was pink and it said biker chick on it. So he was a little upset about that. So he gave it to my daughter since his doll is a boy and hers is a girl. So... When we went to Once Upon a Child, I let him pick out an extra thing. So he picked out that crab onesie and then basically this out, this really cute um, Granimals. It's a long sleeve onesie. It's one of those onesie dresses I like. So it's a onesie with like a dress over it. So it's really pretty aqua color and it's got these silver stars over it. It's really cute and it, I've tried it on Macy and it does fit Macy but it's really big on my daughter's doll. So then my son also picked this out at Once Upon a Child. It was $4.50, so we paid $2.25 for it. It is this fleece long sleeve, almost like a hoodie. So it's got like a hoodie pocket in the front. It's a half zip down. And it's got this really cute, it's bright red. And it has this really cute bright or brown mousse applique. And then inside of it, it is checkered with black and red and like a tan colored in the hood um this is super soft it feels brand new i don't even know it didn't come with the tags on it but it almost feels like it has never been washed or worn they had another one identical to this one that it was already pilling so that's where i'm like i think this one's brand new so we went with the one that felt brand new and my son loved it and then lastly, my son picked out, he's like, my baby's going to be cold, so he needs this. And this, all the other stuff was zero to three months or three months Carters. This is three to six months, but it was really small. They did have a, a zero to three month one that we put up to my son's baby, and it looked like it'd be too small for the baby. So we got, went up with the bigger size, and the bigger size is a brand new with tags. Um, it was, once again, also $4.50, so we paid $2.25 for it. And it's this green Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, it's footed. It's a, like a snowsuit. So it's footed. It's got... Sorry, guys. Why won't this stoop there? Um, it's got the flippies for mittens. And it's got a hood. It has like this zip down here. Uh, kind of hard to do. It's, is this zipper stuck? There we go. So it zips down like that. It's got a side zip. And on this side it also zips down similar. So it zips all the way down and opens all the way up. So it's a nice single layer fleece snowsuit. So this would honestly be perfect for a car seat for a real baby. And then it's got turtles on it, and then it's got an embroider of all four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the face. And so that's the things my son picked out. Uh, let's see. My daughter's stuff is next. Trying to make sure. I'm keeping stuff separate because I've got stuff for my dolls. I've got stuff for my kids. Okay, that's mine. How did he wind up? Oh, that 
brand new one are the gray not gray the red carters thing that was actually for sean that's what it was my son loved it too they did have that in his doll size but ultimately um he ended up picking out this one instead so it's similar it's the carters um romper um footless hooded um almost like a hoodie it's fleece it's like this hunter gray with black dinosaurs over it's got the pocket but this one zips all the way down this is the one he picked out for his baby and then it's got a hood with gray on the inside he wanted something i know what it was i was thinking this kind of with the moose on it could be kind of christmasy before i actually found what i ended up getting sean for christmas yeah this is six months i'm checking Yeah, this is, well, it says Carter's newborn on it. Yeah, it's Carter's six months in it. So this is Sean's. This is what my son picked out. He wanted something warm for his doll. He had picked out this too for his, that's why I thought it was for that. He had picked out that for his baby too. And then he changed his mind and went back and got the dinosaurs because he liked the dinosaurs. And his baby came in a Christmas outfit, and he thought it looked Christmassy. So uh, everything my kids got were four fifty. I think pretty much everything we got was four fifty, except for one thing, and I paid full price for that, and you'll see why. So this is what my daughter picked out. Oh, this is mine too. What the heck? Where'd my daughter's go? Is this it? Yes. So this was what my daughter picked out. She wanted once again warm things, four fifty. So we paid it two twenty five. It's this, once again, one of these hooded romper things. It's fleece. It's purple with like this um, geometric design on it. And it has two little bears on the front, appliques that they both have a pink bow on their one ear and they're just white polar bears. And the inside of the hood is like a lavender and that's what the geometric design is. And then she also picked up this, another one of those hooded outfits. She wanted winter stuff for her baby because her baby came with more summery stuff. And this is navy blue with pink polka dots and it's got a white fuzzy polar bear applique on it. Once again, a bow on her ear. And this one actually has bear ears on it. They had this super cute llama outfit that she kept wavering back and forth on and she decided to get that instead. I wish she would have got the llamas, but I told her, and I contemplated, like, well, do I buy her the extra outfit? And I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy her the extra outfit because, yeah, I'm not going to buy it for her because I told her only two outfits. So then these are the things that I got Macy. This is a Carter's six month, oh, another one of those fleece romper sets. So it's got on the hood it's got the little ears this one is lined like with a soft sherpa material and it's a full zip down it's got the uh, a pocket like a hoodie on it and it's got a polar bear a white polar bear fuzzy applique on the chest as well similar to my daughter's except for my daughter's doesn't have the pocket and mine doesn't have the polar bear ears on it and then what i was showing you guys this one doesn't have a hood but it's still a fleece romper it's pink with white polka dots and guys look at this cute llama applique I saw it and I'm like I'm not gonna get Macy anything at first I saw it and I'm like oh I'm getting that for Macy I had to get that for Macy I do not know when Carter's had this outfit but I had to get it for Macy and then I saw this outfit too and I'm thinking you know what my babies can use a little warmer outfits um so then I got Sean that red outfit and at first I was going to get him this with some cute pants and I ended up putting the pants back. So this was on clearance for $3.50. So I paid uh, $1.75 for it. And it's this like baseball type shirt is what they call them. It's the body of the shirt is gray, a heathered gray, and the sleeves are red. The neck is red and it's got this... Um, gingham christmas design truck on the front with two buttons for wheels and it's got a cute little brown puppy with a bra black and white checked present on it and there's silver embroidery on it i thought this was really cute 
And like I said, I was going to use this for Christmas for him. But then I found what I got for Christmas for him. I still decided to get this because it was cheap and it was adorable. And I'm like, you can never go wrong with Christmas. Especially boy Christmas when you find something cute. Because that's the issue I'm having. Like when I was looking around, there were so many even full price cheap Christmas outfits that they had for Macy. I already have a Christmas dress for Macy that is super cute. That I think it's made by Mud Pie. I can find cute girl clothes up the Yahoo. Finding cute Christmas boy clothes. Pretty much all they make is plaid pajamas. And that's about it. I'm like, really? Like, come on, people. So finding that, I'm like, I, I can deal with more than one thing for Sean, for a boy. Are buying him an extra Christmas thing because after Christmas I can probably go to stores and find Christmas clothes for Macy on clearance after Christmas. Um, if I don't this year, I mean I can find them throughout the year. Carter's had a lot of cute Christmas stuff, but like I said, it was still on sale for seventeen dollars, and I'm not about to pay seventeen dollars for that. So I'm like I'm gonna wait until Carter's has their huge after Christmas sale where all like their Chris or their clearance stuff is like fifty. 75% off sometimes so I was waiting for like that so this is what I got for his Christmas outfit I paid full price for it which was a whopping 650 but I had to get it so first off are these pants they've got black at the ankles and then a black wrist or waistband and on it there's some black trees and then there's a red car with a green Christmas tree tied to the top some of you may already know what the shirt's going to be by seeing that. Some of you might not. And then it came with a matching um, knot hat. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to put the hat on him because I don't really put hats much on him. But favorite Christmas movie of all. It's just a white onesie and says, yes, serious Clark. Love Christmas or National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I saw that and I'm like, oh my God, I have to have that for Sean. I will pay full price for it. That is his Christmas outfit. I found it. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of cutesy stuff, but this, I had to have it. It says it's size 70 and I believe size 70 transfers into approximately three to six months. So that is the haul of um, when we went to Once Upon a Child and then a few other times I went I just wanted, I didn't want to just show the two things and I want to have the diapers. I wanted to get it all in one shot. So I hope you enjoyed this Reborn haul. I know I haven't been doing a whole lot lately with Reborn hauls. I just been kind of in a funk doll wise period. So um, it was fun to take Sean out and do some shopping. So I hope you enjoy this and I will see you all later. Bye.